Hey everybody, it's me, Kasha Wolf, and today I'm actually doing a quick video on basically uh, spells. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, this video is get what you need, not always what you want, and that's because I have gotten a message from somebody, and I think you watch my videos, and I think that I needed to explain this not only to you but to everyone else. You know, because this is something I should have covered, which I didn't, which I should have. And it's something I've been wanting to cover for a while. And I'm going to be going through certain spells in particular with you guys to help you guys understand uh, what will be successful and what will not. So, I guess this person had tried, um, well, this viewer, I don't want to say this person. Uh, I, guess, I guess this viewer had tried one of my spells and they said that it didn't work, they tried it three times, they're running out of herbs. And that it didn't work. And um, they kind of misunderstood when I was saying, whoa, slow down, because uh, on their wish. And the wish was to be rich in three days in so many hours. Okay. This is not how it works. If you think about it, Everyone could do that spell that way, and everyone would be rich, which would mean nobody would be rich. Okay, everything would fall apart. There has to be balance. That spell would not work. That, when you do a spell, when it comes to money and making money, it's usually to get what you need at the time. Um, you can watch whoever you want on YouTube who actually know what they're talking about, and they will tell you that you can ask for what you need not like a thousand dollars or something like if you desperately need a thousand dollars you can ask for it and the um, it'll slowly like not slowly but it'll gradually bring it into your life so what you get it when you need it all right this okay that would be like me like I explained to you in the message that would be like me waking up and saying I'm going to be a doctor in three days and then perform surgery on somebody. That is not how it works. More than likely, I'd accidentally kill the person. You know, um, if I did it, then that's a miracle. Just like if that spell came true in three days, that would be a miracle. Now, if you want that, that type of stuff in three days, you could try selling your soul to the devil, but usually that doesn't work out either because there's a price to pay for that. Um, but yeah, I'm watching Killer Kids. Interesting stuff. Um, anyways, but yeah, there's certain spells that will not work. Sometimes they're just way too out there. It's something that has to be gradually worked up to. So you can't just say, okay. Um, people have asked me, can I just automatically change my life to someone else's? Um, there's steps to make changes into your life and maybe have similarities in someone else's life, but you can't just take over someone else's life. You know, um, like it would be wrong you know there's a balance alright uh, although we're able to manifest these things there is going to be forces that know that there has to be balance kept now for those of you who watch my fairy videos and I told you that some fairies look for certain people that they need to get rid of um, just because they're a problem to um, maybe the universe or something in a horrible way uh, I'm not saying like a hitman or something like that or that you shouldn't be doing witchcraft because you don't know what you might do and might cause problems and stuff like that. It's just an example. You know, they'll probably cause effects in your life and uh, stuff like that. I think that if you were to do something to make you rich or to give you this or that or whatever, there has to be reason for it. There has to be actual reason for it. Why do you need to be rich? What would you do if you were rich? Alright? And there's people who work hard to actually become rich, okay? Some of them do change, but they deserved it because they worked for it. Uh, some get their money in a wrong way, and they pay for it, you know? So, if you were to get this money, what would you do with it? Ask yourself all these questions when you do a spell. What would you do if you got this? Uh, would you help other people? Because the way it, the message kind of came off. I'm just saying the way it came off to me. Not that this is how you are, but just, you know, an automatic opinion. It was just, 
um, a quick, uh, I want to be rich thing. I want to be, not I need to be. Okay? If you need to be, which really, no one really needs to be rich, then, then you probably, the spell would be successful. But it would not gradually work up, it would not work that way. It has to gradually work up. Like, I would be rich right now. You know, I, if I just suddenly decided, okay, I'm going to do a spell and I'm going to be rich. I would be rich right now. Um, but no, I've done steps in my life to uh, work my way up. Um, just even without witchcraft. But what witchcraft would do was it made everything common sense to me. It made me understand things better and to make these changes automatically in my life. You know, it made things, it, I guess you can say in some way, easier because you understand things in a different way. You look at things in a different way. So uh, once you uh, level out your energy, put yourself on that... Um, that frequency of what you're going to do, then you go in that direction a lot easier. You're set on that path a lot easier. So I'm working up towards money, but I'm also working up towards something I love. And this is the thing. My reasoning with money is to help other people. Not just myself, not to make me happy, but to help other people. I want to be able to donate to charities. I want to be able to help people who need I want to make a difference for other people, not for myself, but for everyone else. I want to influence somebody who's going to influence more people just the way I hope to do. You know, I want to, con I want to make a continuous chain of change in a positive way. That is what I want to, what I feel like that I need to do, but would like to do and want to do. All right. There is reasoning behind it, but I'm working for it. I'm not just making a spell saying, I need this, uh, or I want this, I want that, I want this money, I want that money. No. Sure, in my mind, when I feel like, um, oh, well, I want to go to the movies, I, and the reason why I want to go to the movies is because I need to get out of the house. You know, I'll be thinking about, man, I could really use, like, you know, seven bucks right now just to go to the movies. Next thing you know, I get 20 bucks because I had that mind focus of it. Um, like, someone will random, like, my, uh, my stepdad randomly gave me 20 bucks. That's rare, coming from my stepdad, you know, and I got it, you know. It was just because there was reasoning behind it. I didn't want to just go to the movies because I wanted to go to the movies. I wanted to go to the movies because I felt like I needed a day out of the house. You see, when you perform a spell, ask yourself these questions. Get what you need, not always what you want. Sometimes you get what you want, that's why I said not always what you want. Um, because that's the whole deal when you pray to God, too. God will give you what you need, not always what you want. Sometimes he will give you what you want. You know, maybe like, you know, random rewards and stuff like that, and it won't be a big deal. But, ultimately, he will give you what you need. And I, I really feel strongly about that. If you get what you need, then you're going to be happy with it. You're going to be fine with it. It'll just be, you know, I got what I need. I don't need anything else, you know? You know, because you got what you need. But you see, that's just like how it works. If we always got what we wanted, everything would be screw up, screwed up. There would be no balance. Everything would be freaking screwed up. Like, just crazy screwed up. Um, there has to be balance. There has to be reason. Certain spells don't work because the reasoning behind it isn't right and because it's just not meant to happen. Um, in the universe. There's a reason for it. Um, you can work your way up into it and like maybe show that you deserve it, but take those steps instead of just automatically deciding that you're just going to do one big spell like that. Um, but usually when it comes to stuff like that, if you were to get something so quickly like that, sometimes it'll lead you to dark things. You know, um, That's why it's good to work your way up to it so that way you appreciate it and you actually, you know, know what you're going to do with it. So, um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, more detailed in certain spells, like the vampire spells and stuff like that, you guys. I need to explain all these spells to you. Um, but I'm going to, you know, go over this stuff with you guys. And, um, I hope this video helped out. I hope I didn't offend the person, um, who asked me this question. I wasn't trying to offend you. I was just trying to be... Uh, open to you, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that likes to be blunt as possible. I don't like to lie. I'm not going to say I don't lie because that would be a lie. Um, because we all lie. We all lie, you know. 
Uh, I'm not going to lie and say I'd never lie. That would be a lie. Um, I try not to. I, rem I try to remain honest with you guys and everyone else. So far, I think I've been very honest with you guys. I haven't really told any lies. Like, maybe I haven't told you guys certain things, but I haven't lied to you. Um, but I'm not saying I've never, ever lied or I don't lie anymore because it does happen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Like, it has to come from love. You know, take, just ask yourself these questions and everything like that. Like, if money is your ultimate goal when it comes to magic, well then, that's your goal. And you can work your way up to it. It's not impossible. Okay? So, you guys, I hope it helped. This video uh, gave you some info, maybe some good advice. Um, and the person who had the question, I wasn't trying to offend you. I was just, you know, trying to be blunt and open with you so that way you would understand. And uh, if you have anything um, you might want to put in there, just message me. Um, again, you know, if you want to freak out on the, the comments, that's fine, you know, um, but I wasn't trying to come off bad if that's how I came off, uh, or you can just message me privately and maybe explain your situation better to me, um, like, I don't know what's going on in your life, you know, so I can't necessarily say this is how it is, you know, so I hope this helped you guys out, everybody, bye and blessed be, I love you guys, I enjoy your support, bye.